Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into the session of Epic 7. Now today we have another guild war for you guys and this one is going to be pretty good. We're going up against the guild Alsatia, uh, at least that's how I think it's supposed to be pronounced. And this is a pretty close guild war. Um, both sides, I mean we've, we've both... Uh, use the majority of our attacks, but you know now I'm coming in to, to do a little cleanup duty here uh, Of course first thing we need to do is check out our tower, which is completely destroyed, but but if we go <laughs> if we go down here uh, To here right so starting with that specimen says avatar down there We see defense draw two failed defenses two more draws Four successful defenses and then a failed defense. So we are we are doing really really good so far in terms of uh in terms of our defense team. I'm fairly happy with uh, with my setup here. The thing I want to test out though is to switch Dizzy off of uh, off of Abyssal Crown and maybe put her on Ayala Violin. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I may or may not do that and uh, see how it goes. Uh, but for right now, it looks like Abyssal Crown is putting in work, so there's no need to change it if it works. All right, so of course we have Icarus with the joke of the day here. Why did Karen press Control Alt Delete? Well, she wanted to see the Task Manager. <laughs> That's right. Uh, by the way, this is not Karen, as in the the one in Epic Seven. This is, you know, the the Karens of the world, right? All right, I really like this one though. That's a uh, that's a uh, that's something that's a very current event e ish, right? With with all the chaos that's going out around the world. All right. So anyway, we're going over here, going up against this person, Haruno. So going up against Haruno here, uh, who whose tower is um, pretty close to actually falling. Now here I've pre-prepared a team uh, set up ready to go. We have Ruel, we have Champion Zorado, and we have Mont Morrissey. Now the reason why I'm bringing this is because uh, Champion Zorado here is going to be able to pretty much solo this because they have a Dizzy. Um, Dizzy is unable to stun him or anything and he'll just be able to deflect debuffs onto the other team. He is also running Abyssal Crown. Um, he's not the strongest unit for this. I just wanted to test him out so I'm bringing Ruel, bring him on Morrissey for the cleanses, for the heals, and, and just in case for the revives as well. Alright, and for of course the second team here we have uh, Little Queen Charlotte, we have um, what was it a challenger dominial it just slipped my mind and then we have faithless Lydica. so we're gonna try to cleave this team down here with ml ken c sabalona and crimson armin um just one shot the the ml ken hopefully we'll one shot the c sabalona and then crimson armin will just kind of uh kind of be there maybe we can even reset her with uh faithless Lydica. all right so let's go ahead and jump into this and see how it goes all right so especially for this first team here uh going against champion or uh, using this champion serato um it's gonna be very interesting. So there we go. Uh, he tried to push back. I think everyone resisted, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and touch everyone up here with a little bit of healing. All right. So now Dizzy's gonna go ahead and use her S3. This is exactly what we want here. We want her to inflict the debuffs. Oh, she's actually running Aila Violin. All right. So there's no chance of really getting stunned here. But we got the attack down, the speed down on their Charles which is actually pretty good. So we're going to go after the Charles here, just in case uh, we don't want Elbrus procs and stuff like that. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and S3. He's going to buff his team. That's fine. Um, Champion Zerato got provoked, but there we go. We can uh, we can counter that. Get the provokes onto, onto the other units there. I'm going to put the... I'm going to go ahead and slap the... Uh, uh, immunity up on the Ruel. Now, I don't want to put immunity on the champion Zerato, because if I do that, then um, he can't get debuffed, of course. So we're going to pop the S2 here onto the Zerato, give him a little bit of uh, healing, a little barrier as well. Now, Dizzy might be able to push him back here, but that's fine. Um, there we go. All right, Charles is going after Zerato. He is uh, he is very, very weakened because of the attack down. So we are, we are not worried about dying. So there we go. A lot more damage coming out here, but we're going to heal it up. Uh, Champion's Zerato is also on lifesteal, so let's go ahead and do this S3. Hopefully, hopefully we land a stun. Nope, we got a defense break on the uh, Charles. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continuously tap this Charles. He's defense broken now, so that's pretty good. We... Ooh, actually, that's not good. Lilius, Lilius cycled fast enough to cleanse everything. Um, 
Well, what this means though, what this means is that Dizzy will probably be, have her. Oh, actually, Dizzy's S3 is not is not uh, close enough to be ready. Now, here's the thing. I kind of have to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the immunity onto the uh, champion's Zerata, but that's okay because uh, wait, Dizzy did not strip that. All right, never mind. Um, I thought Dizzy was gonna strip that, but turns out she wasn't. Um, so this immunity is actually gonna kind of backfire here. All right, that's okay. Uh, so what the plan was there was actually I was going to heal up Champion Zerato so he doesn't take too much damage, and then what I was going to do is uh, basically hope that Dizzy stripped the immunity with her Aiela Violin, but oh well. Alright, Charles. Charles is uh, putting in work, but he's not able to... He's not able to follow up with that S1 onto my Mount Morrissey because she wasn't buffed. And I'm lucky that uh, this Lilius is basically just going for Champion Zerato here at this point. Alright, so here's what sucks. Um, I have the immunity still on Champion Zerato, so he's not able to counterattack this Dizzy. So that's unfortunate, but we kind of had to do it to kind of keep him alive back there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pop this heal onto Champion Zerato. Alright, so Mount Morrison can kind of focus on healing herself. There we go. Got a lot of cleansing on this team, and... Uh, this is a little slower team, right? This is not meant to be, not meant to be like a super nuke team. Uh, I was kind of scared of the Charles being super, super strong, but it looks like he's, he's okay, right? He's not, he's not the strongest. Um, not dealing a ton of damage. Ooh, actually, I take that back. Uh, I take that back. <laughs> that is, that is quite a bit of damage there. Um, hopefully he doesn't Elburst me here. Oh, good, nice. Finally got the stun, but immediately cleansed by the Lilius, who's cycling quite fast. All right. That's okay here. As long as Ruel doesn't get pushed back, never mind. Ruel got pushed back. Champion Zerato is provoked. Um, Charles is going after my Mont Morrissey. She's probably going to die. There we go. Alright, so here's what we're going to need to do. We're probably going to need to bring back the Mont Morrissey here. Or should I use this on... I can use this on Champion Zerato. Um, I could use this on Champion Zerato. I could bring back Ma oh I forgot where she was in terms of combat readiness. Um, you know what? I might just end up using this on Champion Zerato. He is provoked, but I don't want the Dizzy to kill him here. So mm, I can't even check uh, Mount Morrissey's cooldowns before uh, before she died. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna if I revive Mount Morrissey, she she might be able to cut through the Dizzy. And then, and then heal the champion Zerato. So let's let's hope for that. Now, if not, we can stall for a little bit, and then we can get champion Zerato back with Ruel because Ruel Ruel's not dying to any any of these three units here. All right, so we're gonna bring back Mount Morrissey. Hopefully, she cuts the dizzy. Please, nope. Ooh, ah. Okay, that was that was not that was not the best outcome here. All right, that's unfortunate. But we're, what we're gonna have to do here is now we just have to wait for. For Ruel uh, to get her, wait for Ruel to get her uh, cooldowns back. But in the meantime, we could probably take down Charles. This is what I get for for trying out new things. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and heal the Ruel here. Put the immunity buff on her. Lilius is gonna go after her. Yep, there we go. Charles attacking. Charles follow up. Come on, proc the water's origin. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, so Charles is always going to go after Mount Morrissey because of the uh, elemental advantage. The only way he's going to go after Ruel is uh, is if we're going to do this. Uh, the only way he's going to go after Ruel is if uh, he dual attacks off of Lilius. All right, so Lilius is going to pop rest through here. Okay, so th um, this is where I wish I had Champion Zerato alive. But that's alright, that's why we have Ruel. Right, I'm gonna pop the immunity up on uh, Mont Morrissey here, because she's probably gonna need it. Okay, and we're gonna hit this Charles. Come on. Let's take him down. Alright, this, uh, this. <laughs> This whole plan of, uh, oh yeah, we're just gonna use Champion Zerato, uh, is not really panning out too well. Alright, Ruel is in trouble, she's taking a lot. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this Charles here. That should take him down. There we go. And we can go ahead and heal up a little bit. Now we're pretty much in no danger of dying. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like that stun. I don't like that. So we're gonna we're gonna cleanse that. Immunity on Ruel. Uh, my Ruel has 150% effect resistance. So it's just that this Dizzy has really high effectiveness. Okay, finally. So here, we're gonna be able to bring back the champion Zerato. Gonna revive him, and he's he's gonna finish a job. <laughs> I know, uh... Probably earlier I shouldn't have revived Mont Morris. I probably should have revived Champion Serato. Or not revive, but uh kill him to full and gave him uh invincibility. Alright, so there we go. I never lose. I'll win anyway. I'll end this. There's the stun on Lilius. Very, very nice. Counterattack from Dizzy, not too shabby. Okay, um I am going to. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in on this Dizzy. Uh, there's there's no reason for me to to heal the Ruwell with her own skill because Mount Morrissey can do that. And I'm only doing this because when um, when Lilius gets unstunned, she's gonna be able to attack the Champion Zerato instead. Otherwise, she's always gonna focus on Ruwell because Ruwell's uh, at a lower HP than Champion Zerato. All right, so there we go. Transfer the debuffs. Uh, let's go ahead and heal a little bit. Uh, let's see, Lilius, Lilius' uh, S3 still has another turn, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and pop the S3. I should have Soul Burn this uh, to ignore effect resistance, but it's alright. We should be able to finish off the Dizzy, actually. There we go, nice defense break. And now we're just going on to Lilius. Don't waste my time. Alright, so there we go. Uh, quite a bit of damage. Lilius is, uh, Lilius does her S3. Okay, so she's gonna do that. But it's not gonna really matter too much, because Lilius on her own is pretty much useless. She's not gonna do anything. Alright, um, oh, and for those of you who don't know, um, any unit who's asleep, if you hit them, it's guaranteed crit. So... Sleep actually has a usage besides, like, kind of stunning for a turn. It's, it's uh, points like this where I wish uh, my champion's Rado was wearing uh, Aiela Violin, where I could just strip the strip the barrier. But oh well, that's fine. Uh, we're just we're just gonna whittle it down. I'll show you my power. All right, we have we have all these souls. I probably should have brought another damage dealer, but again, I was kind of scared of that Charles earlier, so. Ended up just bringing Champions Rado and double healers, tanking it up here. Uh, this, I mean, this battle really just goes to show how dumb Ruel is uh, for just reviving both of my units who ended up dying uh, and then still winning. So there we go. There we go. Transfer the Provoke. That is very, very nice. And we have maximum souls now. Okay, so we're definitely going to need to try to soul burn um, onto that champion Zerato. Nice, we keep I'll sleeping anyway. too. Okay, so I'll there we go. Nice. Alright, landed that defense break. Very, very nice. Lilius actually wasn't uh, wasn't woken up because if, you're, if your unit's asleep and uh, they have a barrier up, uh, then they're actually not woken up uh, unless they take actual damage, and because barrier doesn't actually count as technically taking HP damage, uh, then the unit won't actually wake up. Uh, wow, so this one took quite a while, actually. We have the draw available uh, button actually glowing at the top right, but hopefully the second one's gonna be faster. Okay, so for this one here, we're gonna we're gonna make this quick. So Athletica, go. We're gonna cleave this, strip the immunities. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to go ahead and pop the S3. There we go. Uh, we're going to Soul Burn. Hit the Seaside Bologna. Boom. Seaside Bologna down. Alright, let's go ahead and reset the Crimson Army. And there we go. And very nice. Six turn increase. And we're going to go ahead and S3 right into this ML Ken. Even if we don't kill, we have a Skill Nullifier here. So we're not going to take any damage. There we go, very nice. Still managed to kill. Easy peasy. 
the uh, provoke onto Crimson Armin, uh, from Crimson Armin, doesn't matter here, because Seedom is only has one skill anyway. <clears throat> so she's going to use her S1 regardless, and we should be able to kill this Crimson Armin very easily, because she has no nothing, basically, except the provoke. Alright, so, there we go, it's the first battle of the Guild War, done, and we'll be back with the second one in just a second. Alright guys, welcome back to the second battle of this Guild War, going up against uh, Signatus here, and Signatus is uh, running a pretty solid first team here with Charles, Krau, and uh, Kron. so we're going to have a pretty difficult time against him, except he overlooked the fact that we have Charles, and we know that Charles counters Kron directly, so we're going to bring in Lilius, Charles, and Ruel to do the maximum amount of Charles memeing onto this guy's uh, defense team, and we're going to see how it goes. If this uh, if this Kron's running Aaliyah's knife and just one-shots my Charles, then that's going to be unfortunate, but we can revive with Ruel, so we're all good to go. All right. So for the second team here, we're gonna we're gonna cleave it just like the other one because it is literally the same exact team except they have Lilius instead of uh, Crimson Armin. So yeah, we're just we're just gonna hope that it works twice in a row. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see how it goes. So my my Charles has a uh, is built to be very very tanky. Right. Um, for those of you guys who watch my who watch my um, account review should know. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's, let's go in on this Kron first. He seems to be the biggest threat, so we're gonna go in on him. Unfortunately, Ruel was the one that dual attacked there. Charles, see, Charles critting my fire unit twice in a row. Charles does not care. All right, he's gonna do Charles things. Alright, push my Lilius back, that's okay. Um, Kron's always gonna go for my Charles here. No attack buff on him, so that's good. No Alexis or anything like that. So, there we go. Uh, quite a bit of damage, but we're gonna counterattack. See, Charles ca Charles crits uh, crits fire twice in a row. This is what I'm talking about. Charles counters Kron, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put up this uh, heal on Charles because the only person on their team that's gonna go after my Lilius is going to be um, is gonna be their Crow. Their Charles normally would just go after my Charles unless Ruel has lower HP. Um, and their Kiron's always going to go after my Charles. So, we're going to go ahead and put up the S3 here. Alright, see, Charles critting fire again, crits the Kiron, brings him down, triggers his, uh, his, uh, invincibility thing that he's going to proc, uh, immortality. So we're going to go ahead and provoke him, so he doesn't pull any shenanigans, we can kill him easily. So there we go, he's going to pull any OE, that's fine. There we go, Elbrus is going to proc, crits the Kron again, there we go, hit, this one missed, but that's okay, I mean, come on, 4 out of 5, good enough, right, so we're going to go ahead and poke this Kron here, get rid of him, he's gone, and there you go, now you guys, now you guys should understand why we bring Charles against Kron's, because Charles, Charles doesn't care, okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop the S3, um, Charles is going to counter, do his stuff, that's fine, Let's see, Charles didn't miss again, uh, he, he didn't crit, but he, uh, he definitely didn't miss my Lilius. Okay, we're gonna go in on this Charles, though. There we go, a little bit of healing from Ruel, that's fine. Uh, their Charles might strip my Charles here. Oh, actually, no, we resisted. That's good. Let's go, let's go in on his. So we're triggered a dual attack. Ooh, we got a counter. Counter on my Ruel. Okay. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage coming out. Okay, what we're gonna do here is... I'm gonna pop this, uh, ooh, I kind of want to pop this revive just, uh, just because I can, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and I'll, I'll save the heal for next turn for my own Ruel. We're gonna do this just to, just to count as a bit of healing, put the invincibility on my Charles. So there we go. So he's back to full. Ooh, actually, uh, we, well, okay, uh, never mind, I probably should have saved that. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that, uh, I forgot that Crow was in, uh, his S3 range. Oh, well. A little oversight on my part, but that's okay. Alright, we're gonna counter with Elbrus. We're gonna kill their Charles. We're gonna go in onto their Crow. See, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we are, we are too strong. Too strong. So we might have lost Lilius here. I guess we, uh, I don't actually think we can stall. Can I actually stall this? My Charles will probably just kill their, kill their Crow. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up killing his Crow. So there's no way we can stall to get the Lilius back. That's okay. 
All right, so there we go. Um, a little bit of a misplay. I should have saved the revive for the Lilius, but oh well. That's all right. So let's go ahead and quickly cleave this second team here. Uh, Lilius, Lilius actually kept her immunity, so that's unfortunate. It didn't strip that, um, which means we can't really reset the Lilius here, but we can still take down the Cs at Bologna. One pop. All right. And I'm going to go in on this Lilius anyway, because I don't want to get countered by the Ken. So we're going to go in on her here. Just deal a bit of damage. And let's one-tap this, uh, this ML Ken. There we go, this should kill. Very, very nice, 17k damage. And there we go, rip our skill nullifier, but that's okay. Uh, he's gonna provoke my Lydica, which is actually alright, I'll take that. But we're gonna go ahead and burst her down real quick. And of course, just like last time, uh, if you have a Lilius that's by herself, she's she's kind of useless. So you just focus down on her teammates first, and then uh, and then you focus on her last. So there we go, chop chop, and we're done. So there we go. Very very nice. All right, so there we go, guys. That was the second battle of this Guild War done. We'll be back with a third one in just a second. All right, guys, welcome back to the third and final battle of this Guild War. Going up against As... As... Kelad. As Kelad. Uh, I don't know. Well, anyway, we're going up against him, and he has uh, Kron, Krau, and Ruel for his defense. Um, for his first team, which we're going to bring Cis Apollona to, because Cis Apollona definitely will not get destroyed by Kron, right? Right, so, just in case that might happen, we're going to go ahead and bring Falconer Clurry as Kron bait, and she's also going to be pretty good for um, provoking the Krau, potentially, or maybe even the Ruel, if I can get the souls. But we're going to bring our own Ruel as a failsafe, just in case something happens to our units. Uh, Seaside Bologna's on drink, and she's on a very offensive set, uh, so she's very squishy. Alright, so for the second team here, we're going up against uh, uh, an evasion team, essentially. We have Assassin Cartuja, Arbor Vildred, and Basar. So, we're going to challenge that Basar to speed with my Faithless Lydica. Um, we're going to try to pop the... Uh, try, try to pop the Cartuja, I guess, with a uh, Seedom, and then we'll see what we can do with a uh, Lilybet on their on their Vildred. So let's go ahead and jump into this and see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully we don't miss on that Vildred. If we do, well, we lose, right? Okay, so we get to go first here, and uh, that might actually not be bad because what we can do is we can just if we can go ahead and uh, provoke this Kron immediately. Let me just strip him here. If we can do that, there we go. Uh, provoke and defense break, so that's very, very nice. Uh, unfortunately, he gets a defense buff, but that's okay. There we go, Ruel's gonna S1, and that's gonna trigger C Sabalona. Very good. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna S1 here. We're gonna go ahead and tap the... We're gonna tap the, uh, Crow. Alright, so Bologna's gonna go ahead and use her S3. So this should go ahead and stop this, uh... Well, it depends. Um, this should, yeah, this should go ahead and proc the immortality from the Kron, but Ruel might end up using her S3 on him, so that's gonna be quite unfortunate if she does. Um, Krau's actually going next, which really sucks. Um, I don't want Krau to S3. Okay, there we go, he doesn't, he doesn't S3 yet, so that's good. Um... Let's see, we're just, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep tapping this through well. This Ruel's, ooh, Kron's gonna go. Okay. Ru my Ruel's pushed up, so Ruel's gonna need to heal herself. Because if she doesn't, then, um, we're gonna be in, actually, wait a minute. Um, you know what, I take that back. We're gonna kill, uh, we're gonna kill Kron. Alright. So we're gonna kill Kron here, um, and because we kill Kron, the Ruel's S3 is actually gonna go on Krowl. So this is going to make sure that he's going to be healed back to full, but he doesn't get the invincibility. Actually, he doesn't... Wait a minute. No, hang on, never mind. I am... I'm dumb. Um, it wouldn't even have worked on Krowl, I don't think. 
um, it just, he went for the K-Ron because K-Ron, K-Ron died. Alright, but that's okay because afterwards, um, K-Ron doesn't have the invincibility anymore because his, his passive should be on cooldown. Yeah, 7 turn cooldown. So we should be good. Um, we just need to focus down this, uh, <laughs> this, this crowd. Okay. So he is, he is going to be dangerous. My Ruol might actually die here. So, whoops. That was, that was very, very bad for me. So really much misplayed there. Um, yeah, there we go. That's going to be enough to take down my Ruel. So that is unfortunate. But the good thing is he, he did not get the barrier. So he was not able to... Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and strip him. Uh, he was not able to get the um, get the barrier from using his S3. So that's good. Alright, so Kiron going in on us with his S1. Ruel going to go ahead and heal herself. And that's fine. Uh, Seaside Bologna is gonna go in on this Kiron. We want him dead. There we go, one shot, and now all we have left is this Ruel, which we need to take down. Now, here's the thing, Falconer Chloe's, you see Falconer Chloe went three times, right? So she's gonna keep on lapping this Ruel, and now that we have the souls, we can actually soul burn a provoke from this Clurry, so that we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to stop her from reviving, reviving anything. Uh, we have another turn, so that's good. We're just gonna keep lapping her, though. As you can see, we're just gonna keep lapping her over and over and over. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and soul burn this provoke. So that he can't revive anyone with this Ruel and ignores effect resistance. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this as well, this S3. Just so that the next uh, hit that this Ruel does is gonna result in a counter from SSB. Ooh, and we got a defense break on her. Uh, I forgot about that from the from the Clurry, so that actually finishes her off quite quick. So, there we go. Easy way to deal with Ruel and some tanky comps. Alright, so here we go. This, this actually, that's a fast Bizarre. Um, Alright, so I'm very glad I uh, raised the speed of my Faithless Lydica. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. Ooh, actually, that's bad. We, we missed. So, this means that some of our units might get pushed back. And we might not actually outspeed this Vildred. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Um, Cartouche is going to go after Lydica. Yep, there we go. So she's going to get stunned, but that's okay. Actually, this might be okay. Cdom, Cdom's going to get her turn. Alright, there we go. This this works, this works. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Pop the S3 here. Uh, Vildra's on Moonlight Dreamblade, but we should be okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Soul Burn kill this Bissar, because he's going to be annoying. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and go in on this Vildred. So there we go. Uh, Lilibet's passive is 20% uh, extra um, hit chance, so it makes it so that it's very easy for her to uh, basically bypass Moonlight Dream Blades, right? I know Assassin Cartuja is here, but hey, that's that's gonna be fine. Um, basically, it meant there's a 15% chance she would have missed. But we are we are looking good. Got a hit chance down on him. We're gonna go ahead and S2 here. Boom, boom, boom. Got a little bleed on him as well, not too shabby, he missed my Lydica, and we should be able to finish him off here. Oh, actually, no, because uh, he gets a guaranteed, he gets a guaranteed, um, uh, dodge after, after his turn. So we're gonna go ahead and pop him. Boom! And there we go. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, three wins in this Guild War, fairly nice. I mean, we, we did, we did very well on defense, so, uh, that was, that was a good surprise. Alright, anyway guys, there we go, there you have it, three battles in this guild war, three successes, a ton of defenses, thank you all so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve, and until next time, take care.